Hello people, the web and YouTube TV here, welcome back to another Actum tutorial video. Whoa. So okay guys, today I'm gonna be teaching you how to deauth devices using nothing more than Kali and Linux. But before I get to this video, I just wanna say today's tutorial is gonna be very similar to that of the Node MCU in which I've done a video on before. So if you wish to learn more about this attack, I really recommend going and checking out my old video on this little guy. But yeah, to do this attack on Kali Linux, first of all, you're gonna need a compatible Wi-Fi adapter capable of well packaging injecting. Now, in some cases, if you were to install Kali Linux as your operating system, sometimes the card built directly in the computer already will be enough, but if you're running a virtual machine just like me, we'll have to, well, search for a compatible card with packet injection on it. And as I can see, this one's a really good card, probably not the best, but it will most certainly work in terms for today's tutorials. So yeah, let's plug this thing into the computer and we'll get every things set up on the Kali Linux side of things. Now, to be honest, to well do all this, it's actually fairly simple. There's only one line of code you gotta know how to use, and once you learn how to use it, to essentially deauth authenticate any device or well, all devices on the network. All you gotta do is fill in the right info. And I gotta say, it's fairly simple, and you're probably looking at this code right here right now expecting this whole thing to be the code. No, the whole code is just this bottom line here. This is just an automator script I made that will automatically save every attack I do essentially so I can rerun it again if I need to. And I will leave this code, um, down below in the description just because it's actually fairly useful and if you don't want to get too into coding it's probably easier to start off with a simple little sh file that can automatically tell you what to do but yeah with that said let's actually look at this from a non um bash script perspective okay so to actually do this attack we're gonna need to get familiar with this command error replay now i'm gonna open up a terminal and type in a few things just to get some stuff popped up first of all i'm gonna type in error e play dash ng dash dash help and i believe if you type this in it will give you every little command in or thing you can do to the tool itself in order to well better your attack for whatever device you plan on to attacking. But yeah, with that said, compared to the Node MCU, this tool definitely has a lot more tools to it, and at the same time, it doesn't have as many tools as Node MCU has. It's kind of like a balancing act. Um, one of these things is better for a certain scenario type of deal. But yeah, with that said, um, to actually start using the Air E play attack, we must first set our wireless adapter into monitor mode. Now, to do that, it's fairly simple. All you gotta do is type in Air Mon NG. Uh, I'm gonna type in check kill first, just to kill anything I may already have running, just so it doesn't interfere. But in most cases, you don't really have to run that command first. I just like doing it to be safe, but yeah, anyway, what you want to do to well start your card up into monitor mode is to type airmon-ng start wlan0, or my keyboard could die, that's lovely too. Anyway, once we type all that in, it will actually put our card into monitor mode, and if yours does not go into monitor mode too well, figure out what your card is called, just type in airmon-ng, and it should list out whatever card you have installed on your system, and as you can see, mine is called WLAN0, but since I put it into monitor mode now, it will have a mon at the end. But yeah, that's essentially all for that, so I'm just gonna like clear the list, is that what we do? Okay. So okay guys, now that that is all out of the way, let's actually start scanning our access point for a device to well kick off. Now, before I go any farther, you can actually kick any device off any network. I can actually right now use this card to kick my neighbors off their Wi-Fi, but just because that would be illegal, I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to be pen testing this attack on an old router that I have hooked up in my closet, so don't get any funny ideas on trying to well hack me because you're not going to get any luck out of that. But with that said, to actually scan our network range to find a device to kick off, we must first type in air o dump dash ng and then wlan zero mon. Now with that said, we can actually use this tool to actually capture a handshake. 
at the same time we're kicking a device off the network which is a fairly useful attack but I'm gonna save that for another video I will talk about how to do a WAP handshake later but for now we're just gonna use this tool to well scan our network and well see what devices are connected to our network and as you can see I only have one device already hooked up to my network and I'm gonna guess that device is um not this computer but maybe my tablet since I have it on the separate channel range because when you do this attack it isn't going to work on devices in a 5 gigahertz range same thing goes with the node MCU however anything connected to this to the network under a 2.4 gigahertz range will pop up and as you can see I just plugged in my phone or well signed into my Wi-Fi on my phone and as you can see another device popped up so I'm just going to stop running this attack before I accidentally pick up my neighbor's um, network, but for now, we're essentially almost halfway done. We really just have to input our BSSID and our station, which is our, well, device connected to the internet, and then we send some packets to, well, de-auth our device. So yeah, guys, I'm back. Sorry for the random cut, but my camera died, and I also had a bit of an error in my coding, but I did figure out what was wrong, thankfully, and, well, I want to share that info with you now. Just keep in mind, before you run this attack, you want to, well, stop your arrow dump scan, because if you were to keep the scan going, you kind of get fixed on a channel number, and if that channel number is outside the channel number of that, of the access point you wish to de-auth, you will get a lot of errors and you will have to well restart your network adapter to well fix that issue but with that said I got this all sorted out now so how about we take a look at the command and well I'll explain to you how it all works now essentially what we're doing is we're using attack zero command which is the command to well send a deauth packet and then after we send that tax zero we want to give it a number for packets to send and in my case i'm sending 20,000 packets just because that seems like a good number to work with and for the most part my card can handle it but keep in mind if you go over the limit of your card you won't get any errors or nothing it will just go with whatever number it's capable of and if your card is not good enough you might not be able to well de -auth devices, and with that said, 20,000 seems like a good number for me personally. And with that said, um, the rest of the command is probably fairly straightforward. All we have to really do is do attack A, which essentially means to well enter our BSSID in for the access point. And in my case, the access point is 1078, yada 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 while the device or the station is C421 and to enter in our device or while the station number which is well my MAC address for my phone all you have to do is do attack C then paste the MAC address for the phone in and then after all that you just want to type in the interface name in which we want to inject on and we're going to be using the WLAN 0 mon because I have it in monitor mode and with that said it should all work but I just want to state one or two things because because depending on what Air ePlay version you get, you may have a different syntax for yeah, how you have to enter this in, and in some cases, you have to actually do tac tac then d auth. It's not a tac zero, but in my case, the tac tac d auth doesn't ever seem to work for me, although it is listed as a command that should work. So yeah, with that said, I'm just gonna leave mine as tax zero, but if that don't work, like I said, do a tac tac de auth and that should work. But yeah, with that said, if you hit enter, everything should work out fine. And with that said, hopefully I don't run into that error again. At least I shouldn't because I reset my um, wireless adapter. And with that said, let me turn on my phone or we'll wake my phone up and check it out. And with that said, the attack actually failed again and I don't really know why. It looks like I didn't type in the right BSSID, of course. Anyway, give me a second to fix this and when I get it all fixed, I'll tell you what exactly I did wrong. But with that said, I'll meet you whenever I get it back up and running. So okay guys, I'm back. I finally figured out what the heck went wrong with my card and with that said I just want to show a quick little um trick to well uh, fix your card if it happens to get stuck on uh, Channel searching to well fix your channel to your access point that you want to well 
deny access to, all you really have to do is type in wash dash IWLAN zero mon or well your interface I should say and then tax C and then whatever channel you want to well de auth. Now in my case I don't know why I have to do this right now I must have did something earlier today but with that said you shouldn't need to do this step to well fix your air replay attack it should just run right away and work fine but with that said if you happen to get that kind of a glitch to happen that's just a quick and dirty fix to well fixing it but with that said this should just work fine naturally on its own and well with that said how about we run the attack and and i'll show you guys that this does work with that said this is what you should be seeing if the attack works you should be seeing it sending a lot of well deauth packets like every second or so and with that said if I were to take a look at my phone I have no Wi-Fi bars at all at the moment and with that said it actually kicked me off the access point entirely to the point that I actually have to hit connect again which is something that the the node MCU has a problem with although I believe you can fix that in the settings this one will kick you off, but you can connect to it just to get kicked off again. Well, this one, it won't even give you a chance to, well, even connect to the access point. And with that said, it actually even took out the whole access point so that my phone can't even connect to the access point at all, or let alone see it. But with that said, guys, I hope you all enjoyed today's video, and I'm sorry that my camera cut a few times, and I'm sorry that this command had a little bit of a bug in it. But with that said, if you had to pick between the Node MCU and, well, Kali Linux and using the Air Eplay command, I'd really recommend going free and using Kali Linux, but... This one is just far easier to use and just about way more superior, but if you want a few commands that this thing does not have, I really recommend going with um, Air Eplay, because if you were to use a bash script to, well, um, script this attack, you can actually deauth a device, a specific device to keep in mind, and then end the attack and then be left with the file afterwards. So all you have to do is double click it if you wish to initiate the attack again, instead of having to type in all the code, which is actually fairly useful. But yeah, with that all said, and with my throat slowly dying, but yeah, anyway guys, I think I'm gonna leave this video off here. Anyway, just forgive me if it was a little bit unprofessional, and if you need any help, let me know, and I will gladly help you down below in the comments. But with that said, I'm gonna leave today's video here on Kali Linux off, DTPK signing off, peace. Double encrypt it then hide the file essentially, or use two different passcodes, but yeah, with that said, too well deep. And you're still here, there you are, goodbye. Alright, I don't really...